Hi, I'm Debbie, and we're keeping it simple today with Chester's Pantry. I want to thank our niece Jocelyn Strock for this recipe that she gave me last weekend. It is a bruschetta using some fresh fruit instead of just tomatoes and veggies. So right now, I am putting a little bit of ar arbequina on one side of some sliced baguette. The arbequina, extra virgin olive oil, is a little on the fruity side. It will go very well with the peaches and the and the strawberries that we are using. All right, so there's the sliced baguette. It's been brushed with olive oil. I'm gonna put it in a 400 degree oven now so it will toast. Okay, so that's going in. And while that is toasting, we are going to mix up this wonderful array of, of vegetables and fruit. So. Jocelyn had said she, she used a nectarine because then you don't have to peel the skin. But I needed to use up a couple of peaches that were going a little soft. So I sliced up one and a half peaches. I have the other half here that I think I'm going to nosh on in a little while. Um, if, I meet, if I need more, it's right here. Then I have about a half of a pint of strawberries. Now you have to, the hardest part of this whole recipe is making sure that you cut everything tiny. So that's the, that takes the longest. So we have the strawberries and the peaches and now we have some tomato. Now I'm using Roma tomato and Roma tomato has less, it's, it's less juicy, it's a little more firm which is perfect for making a bruschetta. Now you want to make sure you take the seeds out because the seeds make it a little bit too soupy and a lot of, it just doesn't add to the flavor. I, I usually hate taking seeds out of the tomatoes, but for this particular recipe, it works out really well. So this is two full Roma tomatoes. Oh, and we got these, these are from Gade Farms. Our, uh, our, our neighbors over in Altima, Western Avenue. All right, so we have some beautiful raw tomatoes, and we're going to add this too. So we put the tomatoes in the bowl with the peaches, the diced peaches, and the strawberries. Now I'm going to put in a little bit of salt, just a little bit, not a lot. So we'll put that, we'll cover that there. I'm gonna toss it up so that you can see what it looks like. All right, so this is strawberries, tomatoes, peaches, with a little bit of salt. Now I'm gonna put on this denso. This is our Condimento Bianco Denso. This is made in the same, um, formula basically as a traditional balsamic except that it's made only with Trebbiano grapes. Now this particular one has been aged in Slovenian oak for about a year to give it a little bit more roundness. Then it's transferred back to the stainless steel so that it maintains the integrity of being a white condiment. So. We can't call it a balsamic because the Italian Ministry of Agriculture won't let us. I'm not putting a ton on, just enough to give it some oomph. So this is the bruschetta that we're going to top our toast with as soon as that comes out of the oven. Let me just taste it and make sure it doesn't need anything else. I think it's really, it's a really nice balance of sweetness and tartness. So let's see if the toast is done. We don't want it to get too overly done. We just want it to be a little crispy around the edges. So this is what we're doing. I have to get a fresh spoon because I ate off of that one. I might want to get these a little bit more brown, but for the sake of the video there we go and that's how you're going to top it and that is delicious you can use that for a picnic for an appetizer a late night snack and it's very easy 
So keep it simple. And if you have anything you'd like to share, any special recipes like Jocelyn did, please do. Thank you.